Welcome back, everybody, to Ace Attorney Investigations, Miles Edgeworth 2. I'm sorry to stop at such a weird point, but I wanted to make sure that I had time to go through whatever we're going through here. We have to check important things, and it might take a minute. We have to check a video and try to find the answers to the questions. Well, I am freaking ready. There could be unexpected things in unexpected places. Are we really starting off with a... Okay. So be sure to check every nook and cranny of the video, sir. God, okay. So, I are we gonna have to just scrub the crap out of, like, every... Oh, God. What part of the video is... Oh, look, okay, here it is. There he is, I'm looking. What part of the video is strange? Okay, it's gonna keep playing, that's fine. I wanna keep looking at it. I wanna look at every part. Okay, there's the thing. You can also, I just realized, you can also see, like, the reflection in the mirror there, too. Huh. Uh... Oh, look, wait, I need to see that again, too. Can I see that? How do I... Rewind? That, that weird shadow as well, that seems strange as well. Can we see what that is? Like, if I, hmm, if I pause it. Back up a little. Okay, when does it come in? Not yet. Oh! God, it's really- okay, this is what we need. I want to zoom in on this animal's- It is an animal, isn't it? See, I thought maybe it wasn't. I don't know, is there anything in this shadow that can tell us what it is? That's what I'm wondering about. Hmm. Look at that, though. Uh, okay, so let's, uh, let's zoom. Can we zoom and see more? <gasps> you can! Okay, let me... Oh my... Look at the, look at the back. It's the bear. That's not the dog. Look, he has, like, can you see? He has, like, a little bobtail. And everything... Oh my gosh, okay. Let's examine that. Will that work? Th this is... <gasps> so it really wasn't the dog. I fear we have made a grave miscalculation. This animal. The silhouette. No matter how you look at it, it is not a dog. This animal is... A bear. Oh, Rocky! Oh no! From the silhouette, I'd say the animal is not a dog, but a bear. So then, in that photo I took? Those footprints must have belonged to this bear, yes. Tunnel footprints, photograph of the tunnel connecting the detention center and the prison prints belong to a bear. Eh, did you say a bear? There's only one, isn't there? In the prison. Yes, that man is the first to come to mind. Now that we know, this black shadow isn't a dog, but a bear. There's a good possibility that the man being attacked is not Knightly. Whatever can show that the man isn't Knightly. Should be somewhere in the video, wouldn't it, sir? Since his face is not visible, it would be difficult to get direct confirmation. However, perhaps there is something indirectly reflected. Reflected! The mirror! I think we're gonna need to zoom in and like check it frame by frame. Something reflected? Hey, isn't there a mirror in the cell, sir? Oh wow, they really pointed it out for you, too. <laughs> Indeed. That could be worth examining. Let's look at it. What part of the video is strange? Okay, so can we... can we just zoom in here the entire time? Yes. Oh, but the zoom in... the zoom in pauses it. So, okay, so what we have to do... Is like go frame. Oh god, we're gonna go frame by frame. Okay, uh. Let's see. Can we see more of him in this? I probably should unzoom, but. Okay, I'm gonna unzoom. When does it happen? Here, this is in my way. Uh. There's a couple of. Hmm. Uh... No, he's not really... Where does it show him in there? 
Let's zoom in and see if we can see more. Yeah, because now it's a lot clearer. Right, okay. Is there anything that's showing here? Oh, wait, here's something here. What's this? <gasps> oh, look at... That's a guard's hat, isn't it? Isn't that the guard's hat right there? Stop. Is that it? A reflection of this person can be seen in the mirror. Is that a cap on his head? Actually, it looks kind of like to caps the prison guard's wear, sir. You don't think... It was a guard who was attacked. Have you received a report of any guards being attacked by an animal? No, not that I heard, sir. Hmm. And it was someone else wearing a guard's uniform. Isn't there a missing guard's uniform? I have evidence that shows what this cap is. It's... We have a stolen uniform, don't we? Oh, dude. Stolen from the locker. Stop it. Are you serious? All right. There was no report of a guard being attacked by an animal. However, we did hear that a guard's uniform was stolen. Putting two and two together, I'd say this was a disguise for the purpose of a prison escape. It wasn't Knightley in that, was it? It was Jay. And that's how he got... Dude. So he wasn't really attacked. Not by the bear, it was just the bear jumping on Jay to make it look like it, perhaps? Disguised as a god? That sounds like it could have been successful, sir. Uh-huh. Uh, speaking of prison escapes... Yeah. Indeed. That person certainly was successful. We were all under the impression that the person in this video was Knightley. But it's his cell after all. Why would it be anyone else? That line of logic no longer holds. Remember, the tunnel under his bed. It's possible whoever used this tunnel is the one in the video. It seems it is time to answer that question. Just who is the person in the video? I think I know. The person in this video is... It's gotta be him. No freaking way! Okay, we're getting somewhere. You guys, this is always so good when this happens. The person wearing the guard's uniform is... The escaped prisoner, J. Elbert. The probability is extremely high. His pet is the polar bear cub. But, 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 the bear here is black. We have evidence that can explain this matter. Oh, matter. The reason the polar bear became black is... What? <gasps> Be because of the mud bath. The grooming. Wait, do we have any... Yeah. Covered in mud from Salad's mud pack. Is that what we need? Because I don't think we have anything else that shows the mud. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Think back to Frank Salwitz's testimony. No, I'd rather not, actually. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> That's the rubber... <laughs> I dropped. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> Where did the mud on this glove come from? Ah, uh, that's the mud from my mud packs at the time I was practicing applying my mud packs. Could you tell me when this took place on the day of the incident? Since the animal show had started, I'd say it was around 9am. The mud packs turned the animal's bodies pitch black and my heart was pure white. I was totally engrossed with covering the animal's mud- Ew, gross, okay. I, that's why I didn't want to hear that again, to be honest. During the animal show, Mr. Sowett was applying mud packs to the animals. So, then among those animals... Was this polar bear, yes. What do you mean? Prosecutor Edgeworth, there is a huge contradiction in your argument. The security camera footage. What about it? Judge Courtney, you are quite right. Sowett used the mud packs during the animal show. Knowing this, a new contradiction in the video comes to light. A new contradiction? Okay. Do you know when this footage was taken? It was after the mud packs were used. That would put it at around 9 a.m. In that case, you should notice something strange about this video. Huh? What's strange about it? What's strange about it? The strange thing that contradicts the time this video was taken is... <gasps> the, the time is right here! The timestamp is here! It's right here! Look it! Dude! 
The time saw what covered the polar bear in mud was around 9 a.m. Which means this video should also have been taken at 9 a.m. However, the timestamp reads 6 a.m. On that day, the prisoners went to the courtyard to watch the animal show. At this time, only three people remained behind. Dojin in the special cell. Sawit in the workroom, applying his mud pack. And the one who put his escape plan in motion at that moment, Jailbird. Okay. Ilbud left the polar bear in Sawit's care and entered the secret tunnel. Oh, look at him go! However, the bear escaped from Sawit and followed after its owner. Oh, I see! Look at him! And just as he was chasing after the escape bear, Sawit happened to witness... ...the dog pulling the murder weapon out of the body. If Sawit's testimony is correct, this video must have been taken at around 9am. However, the timestamp is off by three hours. Why would the timestamp be off like that? Detective Gumshoe, I'd like you to examine the security camera. Do they think it's been tampered with? It might have... it might have done. Sorry to keep you waiting, sir. I asked all the guards and... Yeah? It seems the camera's power was cut off for a moment, drawing off the timestamp. Oh, no. Okay. What? The camera's an old model, so if it loses power, the clock stops as well. In that case, this means that the camera's power was cut for three hours. Oh. Timestamp is off by three hours. The footage was actually taken at 9 a.m., so that's what we're going with, I guess. While I'm at it, I got some more information for you, sir. You heard that Knightley denied stealing the key. Right? It seems nobody would believe the words of a criminal, but... Knightley testified I was knocked out too. That may not necessarily be a lie. My, my, my! There you are. Hello, Mommy. How you doing? Oh, making progress in your investigation. Can I be of any help? Actually, Warden Roland, there is something we must report to you. I freaking love her theme. I really do. <laughs> I feel... I feel a great mood when I listen to it. Burp, 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 burp. <laughs> the escape prisoner, J. Elbert, is most likely still inside the prison. He has disguised himself. Here is the proof. The person visible in this security video is Elbert. So perhaps he's still in this very building. Oh, he's probably just dressed up as a guard somewhere. Perhaps. Oh, rabble, rabble, rabble. Okay. Come to think of it, didn't Mr. Albert have a bracelet like the other prisoners? The bracelet would have been concealed under the uniform sleeves. Moreover, the prison's main gate does not have a sensor to detect bracelets. All he would have to do is avoid any doors with sensors inside the prison. <gasps> Oh, that's right. So if he didn't enter the cells or the workrooms, could one of you guys be Che Albert? There's a little bear. There's Rocky. <gasps> Rocky. Look at him. He is so... Uh-oh. Stop it. What are you doing? It would seem that Rocky has answered that question. He's just hanging around here like this? Dude, at least put your... Why didn't you leave? Oh, no. Rocky, this is all your fault! I don't remember the voice I gave for him, I honestly don't. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, I sneeze so loud! <laughs> the little guy loves you so much, it's enviable. Right then, seize him at once! Wait, there's something we must hear from this prisoner. It's necessary if we are to find the truth. I'd like permission to interrogate him. Understood. What do you want out of me? Elbert's escape route is linked to Knightley's cell. So, it's highly likely he knows something about the crime. I'd like to ask you about the day the body was found. Didn't we already ask him about this? I guess we have to ask him again, because now all this new information's come up, but is he gonna tell us the truth? When the body was found, okay. So it was you guys. You were the ones who found my secret tunnel. It took me ages to dig that. The day the body was found was the day I had planned to escape. I was in disguise. 
Maybe I should give him like a Sylvester Stallone voice at this point. I don't even know. Jim Rocky followed after me, Adrian. <laughs> I can't do that though. It's like way too low for me. But he was all covered in mud and I panicked and I returned to my cell. Something like that. Wow, that was short. Damn. If only you guys hadn't shown up. If only Nightly hadn't died. You say you dug the tunnel. What did you use to dig it? Oh, the uh, hammers, spoons, you know, stuff like that, Adrian. Stuff like that. I bought them from the supplier, but it was all for nothing. <laughs> no need to lose your temper. There's always next time. On the day of the incident, it's possible that Elbert met Knightley while he was alive. I'll have to listen to his testimony carefully. Okay, well, that means press everything. All right, the bottle. When the body was found. So it was you guys, you were the ones who found my secret tunnel. I probably don't need to press this, but I'm going to. Shut up! What's with that hold it, punk? You say you dug- What's it to you? You know how long it took me to dig that? I had to beg the supply for the tools. Day after day, I slaved away. Give me back my hard work. Give it back, you son of a- I can't get a word in edgewise. Oh, he's probably not gonna let me press anything I don't need to. You can't just go around discovering- <laughs> It, it took me ages to dig that. I bet it did. Oh, <laughs> could have been laughing this time. <laughs> so you dug that hole alone. <laughs> you damn right I did. Could a tunnel like that really be dug by one per- This whole fucking thing is a giant nasty innuendo and I am here for it. I love this for us. Wow, such a wasted effort. A kid like you wouldn't understand. Never rely on others. Never let others see you. Those are the rules we live by in here. Well, as a great thief, I kind of see where you're coming from. Okay, don't agree with him. <laughs> no, I was just joking. Well, I wasn't. Damn, why'd it come to this? I don't know, dude. I don't even know what's happening anymore. The day the body was found was the day I had planned to escape. I was in disguise. Tell me more about that, please, and don't mention holes. Did you obtain the guard's uniform from the supplier, too? Yeah. That's right. It says, seems you got by threatening a guard. That guy went and stole it from someone's locker. So, when you went through the tunnel, you were already dressed like a guard. No. To ensure that the clothes wouldn't get stained with mud, I, I carried them with me. Once I got out of the hole and, and changed clothes, getting out of the cell doors was simple. And, and that's when... Rocky ran up and jumped on me. Oh, it wasn't planned, of course. That must be the moment the security camera captured. I see. Could you add that to your testimony? Alright. Once I got out of the hole and changed clothes, getting out of the cell door was simple- Oh my god, once I got out of the hole. Wait a minute! <gasps> Wait a minute! How did he get out of the cell? Oh, stop it! What if he has the key? Does he have it? Is this how you got out of the cell? Stop! You trying to distract me with holes, boy, but it is not gonna work today. Okay, maybe it did a little, though. You say it was simple, getting through the cell door. Yeah, that's right. You got a problem with it, huh? Even though you managed to arrive at Nightly's cell. I'm still laughing, you guys. I'm so sorry. Opening the door wasn't so simple. How did you intend to unlock the cell door? Oh shit, your bra though. Your, spo uh, your sports bra. JL, but you had the key to nightly cell. Holy shit, okay. I, I ain't got nothing like that. D that's it, it was open. It was already unlocked when I got there. No, sir, why the heck are you lying to me now? Stop. Indeed, the cell was vacant after Nightly's death, which is why. At the time we conducted our investigation, it was unlocked. Your successful escape attempt occurred after Knightley's death, so the door would have been open. However, you would try to escape once before then. The plan was spoiled thanks to Rocky. The video shows it. I see. Oh god. Yes, that was during the animal show, before Knightley's death was known. And the cell door was locked, because no one knew he was dead. Without the key to Knightley's cell, your escape would have been impossible. Oh shit. 
Ugh. That means it can't be. It's exactly what you think. In the case of the stolen key, the culprit is. J. Elbert, you were the one who attacked the guard, weren't you? Oh shit, okay. The guard and Knightley too, in order to steal the cell key. It wasn't me. I don't know any Knightley. Well, Kelly, you might not have known him, but you still did it. After stealing the key, you returned to your cell as a precautionary measure. Then, you waited for a time when the prison would be mostly vacant. That was just before Knightley's death became known. In other words, during the animal show. But, in the end, the plan was foiled, thanks to Rocky. Don't screw with me. If you don't got evidence, I'll still win by decision. Besides, it was that nightly guy who attacked a guard, right? I don't think so, sir. I think not. Regarding the theft of the keys, Knightley was the victim. This proves Knightley was the victim who was attacked in his cell. This proves it. What do we have? Uh, crime scene notes. Rope. Bloodstained sheet. Um. Oh, right here! Are we gonna use this again? I always get nervous, like, using the same thing too many times, but sometimes the game has you do that. Okay, try? Take that. Uh, yes. Okay, 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 okay. That's where we're going with it, alright. That I mean, that seemed a little too simple, but yes. In Knightley's cell, there were traces of his blood which had been wiped away. I believe this is more than enough proof that Knightley was attacked in his cell. You attacked those two people and stole the key, didn't you? Here come the music. There goes your sports bridle. Oh my god, the whole thing is gone. Oh man, your cup too. I never thought you'd find a blood stain I wiped away with the newspaper. It was kind of obvious, sir. Why would you go through all the trouble of wiping the blood stain? On the hands of Knightley and the guard, there was obvious signs of a scuffle, you know. If the blood stains were uncovered, they'd find out there was another attacker. And if anyone looked around the bed, the tunnel I dug is discovered. So, you were trying to buy more time for your escape attempt. But, I'm afraid to say, your plan still ended in failure. Now then, hand over the keys to Knightley's cell. Duh! Oh! 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 Uh -oh. Damn. Come back here! Oh no, your dentures, sir! Oh, Rocky, look out! It's not really dentures, it's a mouth guard, because he's a boxer, but still! Rocky, be careful. What happened? Did he die? No, you are right. No way. How could an amateur like you knock me out? Here, I got the keys right here. Okay, taken by Elbert, it's been updated. Right! What is your problem now? Hold it. If you have that key, then that means... That's right, Judge Courtney. You reasoned that Knightley stole the key and used it to leave his cell. From there, he entered Mr. Key's cage and was moved to the workroom. However, the very foundation of that hypothesis has collapsed. Bring back the good music, I'm living. Oh girl, your bra! Oh, it's all gone. Everyone's bras. Absolutely gone. And underwear, too. <laughs> I see, in that case, not raised though. We want his to stay on. There was only one person who could have moved nightly. The criminal must have been someone who knew about the secret tunnel. Jay, was it really you? I wanted to like you and your bear. I do like the bear still. Hey, you suggestions. Jay but you're under arrest, pal. Wait, I didn't do nothing. Sure, I knocked out those two guys, then I stole the key. And after that, I waited for the perfect time to enter that guy's cell. But... The cell was empty then. There was no dead body either. And also, how, how could I have gone into the workroom? I couldn't even leave my own cell, right? It's true, you only had the key to Nightless cell. But, there's also Dojin's dog. What? It'd be possible for the dog to carry the body from the cell to the workroom. I see. So you're saying there was an accomplice? Crime would have been possible if Elbert and Dojin were working together. It's perfectly plausible. Somehow Elbert managed to carry Knightley's body to his own cell. And then the dog must have carried it to the workroom. Yes, because all the animals can move freely in the prison. But that's not the case for the path between the detention center and the prison. The only one who could use that route was you.
J. Albert. What if there was another route that you didn't know about? Tch, <laughs> there couldn't have been. The tunnel is a straight path, is it not? Yeah, it seems like it. I didn't have enough time to dig any more than I did. I only dug halfway up the corridor. What? You mean to say that you didn't dig the entire tunnel? When I got to that cell, the tunnel was already there. What? There was a tunnel linking my cell to the well. Looking down the well from the courtyard, there's no mistake in it. They always been connected. I just continued the tunnel with my dick. Oh. Are we really believing this? I suppose we are, since we're getting the diagram of it. What was that hole doing there in the first place? <laughs> okay, stop. Who knows, maybe another inmate dug it in its attempt to escape? Or maybe the animals dug it. <laughs> maybe they wanted to drink from the well. That's highly doubtful. There's no water in that well anymore, though. It's all dried up. Uh, wait a minute. That's it. For some reason, that well gave off a nice scent. Wait, there's that nice scent again. What the hell does that mean? A nice scent? I don't know what it was, but it smelled sweet like candy. This scent. I believe we've come across it before. We know the scent from uh, his body. Right here, the crime scene notes. It has a sweet scent, and we were wondering what the hell that's about. So wait, what is it about? Knightley's body was giving off a sweet candy-like scent. We used a police dog to track that scent. And that led us to discover the tunnel. Was he was he in the well then? Or he must have gotten there somehow. Was he dumped in the well? By any chance, could this be the same scent as the well? Prosecutor Edgeworth, I know what you're trying to say. That the scent proves that the body was carried down through the tunnel. Exactly. And J. Albert, you were the only one who could have used the tunnel. Thank you, Mr. Albert. I am very grateful to you. At last, at last the truth comes to light. Mr. Albert, wouldn't it be wise to confess now? To being an accomplice, I mean. Don't tell me even you suspect me too. Judge Courtney, it seems you and I have come to the same conclusion. Not at all. Our thoughts on this matter are still quite different. Mr. Albert was certainly an accomplice, but an accomplice to Horace Knightley. Wait a minute now, you're still on this? What do you mean? Mr. Albert did not move the body. He simply lent the victim his keys. What? It would seem Mr. Albert did indeed strike Mr. Knightley on the head. However, Mr. Knightley was not knocked out. The two must have made a little negotiation. Negotiation? For Mr. Knightley's escape plan to work, he would have had needed the keys to his cell. So, Mr. Albert stole them from the guard. On the other hand, for Mr. Albert to escape, he needed to get Miss Knightley's cell. But, if Mr. Knightley had been seen him and yelled, the plan would have gone down the drain. And so, they negotiated. I don't think so, ma'am. What world are you living in? I didn't negotiate nothing! Oh? You still intend to deny it? I see. So, in other words, we're back where we started. What the hell do we do now? Mr. Albert opened the cell door and Mr. Knightley entered Mr. Keyes. Oh, this thing again with a cage. Stop it. And then, he was moved into the prison. I don't think so. Oh, of course! <laughs> and then he was killed in the prison workroom. Well, can we stop this, please? Weren't you listening? The scent on the body shows it must have been moved through the tunnel. Knightley was moved from the detention center through the tunnel. Girl. Please wait until someone is finished before speaking. I do not claim that he wasn't moved through the tunnel. What? Y you don't? The scent shows that the body was moved through the tunnel. However, that does not mean it came from the detention center. What do you mean? That sure sounds like a contradiction to me. Isn't there one more possibility? The well in the courtyard. 
It's possible the body was dropped down from there. The courtyard? Oh, the well in the courtyard. I mean, I did say that as also, but... Mr. Keys carried the cage not to the workroom, but to the courtyard. Mr. Knightley was killed in the courtyard and his body was dropped down the well. I see. And then, the body at the bottom of the well was moved by Mr. Dojin's dog. Hmm, I don't know though. Now, there's one thing I'd like you all to remember. Before the body was discovered, what was happening in the courtyard? The animal show, of course. The animal show, right? Regina and Simon were there. Wait, Simon? Ah! I see you understand. Who then dropped the body down the well? Judge Courtney. She's a tough opponent. Her flexible way of thinking enables her to adapt and come up with her own deductions. Mr. Knightley was not carried to the workroom, but to the courtyard. And Mr. Keyes was off stage for 15 minutes. This was when he dropped Mr. Knightley down the well. It's as simple as that. Objection. Judge Courtney, your reasoning is sound, I'll admit that. However, let's say the body was dropped down the well. That didn't have to be done during the show. It could have happened at a different time. Unfortunately for you, Prosecutor Edgeworth, that is not possible. What? When the show started, Mr. Albert was in the tunnel on his way to the cell block. Mr. Albert, at that time, did you happen to see a body in the tunnel? No, nothing like that. Ugh. So, if the body had been dropped before the show, Mr. Albert would have seen it. However, he has stated he did not see a body. Okay. Oh, this is bad. So it is impossible to think the body was dropped before the show. And after the show, the body was discovered in the workroom. In other words, the body being dropped down the well and then moved to the workroom could only have been done during the show. And the only one who could have done it is Simon Keyes. Ugh! Mr. Edgeworth! What should we do? If the body was moved through the well, that does put Mr. Keys at a major disadvantage. However, the notion that the body was moved through the well is only a hypothesis. That doesn't mean there is evidence. What are you gonna say to that girl? I am obligated to recognize that fact. Will you allow me to investigate the courtyard once more? I give my approval in the name of the goddess of law. Oh shit, okay, I thought she was gonna say no. So at least we have that. Reinvestigating the courtyard. I fear this may be our final chance. Uh oh shit, hello? Oh look, god, the police are here. Oh well, I mean it is prison. Huh, what? Fire! Could be another prison break, Prell. Should we evacuate? What's happening right now? What the fuck? Oh, everyone, please remain calm. This is just the signal for the evening meal. What the- Madam! It is a little loud, so I can understand why you'd be surprised. It sure scared me. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. And with that, everyone, please return to your posts. Yeah, okay. JL, but it is time for you to return to your room. Oh, oh, I got it. Let's go, Rocky. Warden Roland, we will be proceeding to the courtyard for another investigation. Oh, isn't it time for you to go home as well, Mr. Edgeworth? It looks like we're out of time. Why don't you continue this another time? But the investigation... Today's been a big day, right? With the escape prisoner and all. So I'm afraid I can't let outsiders like you loiter around any longer. <sighs> this is my decision as the warden of this prison. Oh, shit. Looks like it can't be helped. The warden's word can be called the law of the prison. Prosecutor Edgeworth, this means we will have to carry out our investigation another day. 
Until then, you may hold on to your prosecutor's badge. Oh, thank goodness for that, at least. And with that, I leave you. Bye. Take your take your stinky son with you. Okay, they're going. Oh my god. No, I think it's time you all left. Well, it looks like we'll have to continue the investigation tomorrow. Is this a, is this a, to be continued? I hope so. I hope I planned it right for once. Knightley's body was dropped down the well. It was carried to the workroom from Mr. Elbert's cell. This is Judge Courtney's logic, but is it correct? And Judge Courtney claims that Mr. Keyes transported him, but was Mr. Keyes really the only one with a chance to move him? It just seems too convenient. Mr. Edgeworth, let's do our best tomorrow. We have to save Simon, no matter what. Indeed, I agree. I must prove that Mr. Keyes is innocent without fail. Oh yeah, to be continued. Oh, Pug, I finally did it correctly. Okay, in the next one. So they said this could be our final chance, so this might be the last part coming up. Oh man, but I'm sure we still have a lot to do and I'm still really no closer to figuring out what the hell really happened. So when we return, we will start to figure it out. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am and I'll see you soon in the next one. Toodaloo!